I gotta stop making these videos so early in the morning. I even haven't had a cup of coffee or tea yet, guys. But here I am, and I'm gonna talk to you about bass today. And I'm gonna give you at least five ways of how to make your bass sound more wider, cut more through the mix, and uh, show you a few techniques that I use when I'm composing different genres of music, which help me work with all types of bass ranging from the double orchestral bass up to hybrid basses and anything in between. Hey everyone, your friendly, fast talking and hard to understand Shadow Stylers here and we're gonna be having a very, very quick, hopefully very quick, um, tutorial, no, not, not tutorial, let's say, okay, so I'm gonna talk about basses, okay, bass, double bass, hybrid bass, um, electric bass, well, I'm not gonna talk that much about them, I'm just gonna quickly give you a couple of tips of what I do when, when I'm composing and I want to add more spiciness to the bass and when just the bass is not enough for me in the mix, there's a couple of things that I do. And to keep this short, I'm just going to quickly tell you to give an epic like button press, an epic subscribe button press, an epic bell icon button press if you enjoy the content and want to support the channel. Remind that I stream every Monday, Wednesday and Friday on twitch.tv slash shadowstrader. I compose music and sometimes I play games. And if you further want to support me, I do have a Patreon where there's awesome musical rewards such as high quality audio files, MIDI files, instrumental stems and much more. Okay, without further ado, let's move on to the video. Oh, I forgot to totally tell you that uh, this video is sponsored by me and you can support me by listening to my music on Apple Music, Spotify, Deezer and all the digital platforms by searching for Shadow Strider. There's links down below in the description. To keep the video short and sweet, I have prepared five things to let you listen and explain real quickly. First, you have a normal sounding double bass. Then we're gonna have a layered uh, double basses, different types of double basses because no two instruments sound alike. Then I'm gonna layer the double bass with other orchestral instruments in the lower end section, EQ them, then reduce their dynamics. The fourth one is I'm gonna layer the double bass with the piano which I have EQ'd very, very slightly so that it boosts the double bass. This is for the short ones. And the second short one is just a double bass layered with a normal uh, electronic bass to give it that um, bumpy and fast attack feeling. So let's first hear how the normal double bass sounds and I need to find where I left it. Where did they leave the normal double bass? That's not it, that's not it, is that it? No, that's not it. Where's the, oh, here it is, okay. This is how the normal double bass sounds. Now we're gonna listen to the second way that you can work around layering different types of basses together so that they can increase, uh, where did they go? So that they can saturate the lower end more. This is the sub bass. Uh, when I have so many windows, it's hard. Here we go. No two basses are the same. No two instruments are the same and if they're manufactured in the same way by the same people, guys. They don't sound as loud as the previous one because they have reduced their volumes but they saturate the lower end more and add more diversity to the sound and technically in the mix this one is gonna cut more even if it's less silent than the other one because it saturates the frequencies more. Next we have the different orchestral instruments layered with the bass. This is a good idea but remember that you want to reduce the dynamics of the other orchestral instruments of the brass and the woodwinds that you're gonna use and also their volumes since you want to hear the bass, but you want from below it a little bit quieter the other instruments to support it and push it. After that, as I mentioned, I combined a piano with a double bass and let me show you the EQ that I did. Wait, where's my EQ? Why is the EQ not showing here? Here we go, there's the EQ. So basically I've almost cut everything from the piano excluding the frequencies from 80 to 340 hertz. And we get this awesome sound which you hear the double bass but you have the, the, the fast attack and the, the fast response of the piano in the short notes. And gives you 
um, a cut through the mix in situations where the bass just it's a stringed instrument compared to the piano and other instruments which have a fast attack the bass has a relatively how should i call it mid to slow attack for me that's how i explain it to myself my musical theory knowledge is a little bit on the downside so the piano has a fast attack when you combine it and you eq a couple of the frequencies you get that fast attack added to the bass and it, not, and it adds an awesome sound you can do that in this final way also when you combine the bass with the um with an electronic bass Okay, and in this section I've actually used the sub bass, which has a, a little bit higher sound to it, and uh, the bass actually cuts through almost everything because of those low, extra low frequencies and that fast attack. You can of course do other things, uh, you can layer the bass with the chills, that's a very good idea, but uh, try to EQ the chills if you want to uh, put the accent on the double basses or on the bass as a, as a whole, try to cut uh, the higher frequencies of the chills, you can even do that with the violas, although that's very very high, usually I do it with the cellos, with the horns, the trombones, the bassoons, the tuba, and I do very, very, very uh, wide and uh, high cuts on on those instruments because I want want to hear the double the bass sound, and I just want the other sounds to support it. You can always combine all the things I showed you here. It's not set in stone. It's just an example of what I do when I'm working with my music and when I want to change the sound up a bit, make it cut more, add diversity, and be original. And that's what music is about. So don't forget that you can always experiment. You can base anything uh, on this. Uh, you can have other ideas. And I would be glad if you can share some of your ideas as how, and how you work and how you make your basses sound better in your mixes. So that's going to be it. As always, give an epic like, an epic press to the subscribe button, an epic press to the bell icon, or an epic press to the dislike button if you didn't like it, if you want to support the channel. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on twitch.tv slash shadowstrider when I do composing and sometimes I play games with my friends. Uh, if you want extra rewards and if you want to support me more, Patreon is the, play, the place to go. There's a link down below, there's MIDI files, there's instrumental stems and much, much more if you want to support me. I keep forgetting that you can find my music on all digital platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, Amazon Music, Google Music by searching Shadow Strider. Shadow Strider. I have left also links down below. So if you want to support me, go listen to my music there. That's going to be it for this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Shadow Strider out.